I'm Kelsey Zeiser, Senior Editor at Light Reading, and we're here at MEF 19 in Los Angeles, and I'm joined with Rupa Hanachari with Frost & Sullivan. Good to see you, Rupa. Likewise, Kelsey. Thank you for having me again. So SD-WAN is, of course, a big topic this year, as it was last year. Uh, what's new in the SD-WAN market, and do you have any predictions for next year? Yeah, I mean, SD-WAN, people can't get enough of it. I think <laughs> right. there's so much talk about it. As you can see how many panels we have today on the topic of SD-WAN at MEF. Uh, this year, what we have seen is, um, as the market is evolving, there's a huge focus on hybrid cloud and security being key drivers for SD-WAN. Uh, hybrid cloud as you know, enterprise data and applications get distributed across different uh, deployments. Uh, you need the WAN connecting it to be secure and agile. So SD-WAN is delivering that. So this year, most vendors and service providers have focused on um, enabling hybrid cloud connectivity, you know, diving deeper into it. Um, if you've seen some of the announcements that have come out, uh, they're going at the application level, you know, embedding their SD-WAN solution for Office 365, making it more, more in tune for different applications. So I think that has been the focus, and security, of course, has always been a focus, but it was more limited to what comes inbuilt with the SD-WAN vendor solution. Um, and some of them didn't even come inbuilt natively, right? There are very few vendors who offer security natively. So this year, I think there's focus on not just interoperability with other security solutions, but integration. A deep level of integration with other security solution vendors is what uh, SD-WAN vendors as well as service providers have focused on. So yeah, hybrid cloud and security have been huge areas of focus for SD-WAN this year. Um, in terms of prediction, I mean, the market is growing at a phenomenal pace. Um, globally, the managed SD-WAN market, we're forecasting to cross $6.5 billion by 2023. So that's huge for something right. that did not even exist like five years ago. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. It seems like it's um, set up for a lot of growth. And we've also heard um, that it's trending more toward, it seems like, the managed mm -hmm. or co-managed approach to SD-WAN versus the yeah. do-it-yourself or DIY. Yeah. Uh, why is that the case, and is that what you're also seeing in your research? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is something we have been predicting from the get-go. I mean, there were some DIY deployments, but we have always seen a trending towards uh, managed. But within the managed, you know, you, as you rightly pointed out, we're seeing a lot more co-managed come into picture because enterprises want to uh, have a managed solution but not let go of all the uh, aspects of the solution because it's an oxymoron, you know, SD-WAN, the way it was presented to enterprises is it's so easy, zero touch orchestration, self-configuring, so you don't really need managed. But that's not been the case, you know, as the adoption curve grows and more deployments occur, enterprises are realizing it's not that easy to even deploy some of these at, let's say, they're doing 500 locations. That's where a managed provider, service provider comes into picture, who can take on some of the aspects of the deployment and configuration and management um, stuff, and the enterprises can still retain the policy administration at their end. Yeah, so clearly the trend is towards a managed approach and co-managed is emerging. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned security earlier. Why is that uh, gaining more traction um, as something enterprises are demanding for SD-WAN? Well, uh, with, the, with, with, the, with the deployment of SD-WAN, you're looking at public links, internet links, broadband links, what have you, right? So security, I mean, network security and application security have been uh, top priority for enterprises as such, with or without SD-WAN. Now when you're thinking of combining all this internet links and stuff, security becomes even more critical, right? When you define a policy um, requiring a certain level of quality of service and reliability, security is an integral part of it for your network as well as application. So clearly, you know, only as deployments grow, you realize what are the challenges, you know, what is more important. And that's why I think now the focus is on, yeah, you know, this needs to be more secure as I connect, you know, as I do direct internet breakout to cloud, how am I securing this when I'm going directly to cloud? So that's why it's becoming more important now. Um, and so last year at MEF 18, uh, MEF announced uh, technical specifications for SD-WAN, and this year uh, they're focusing also on certifying services and training professionals um, for SD-WAN. How will those efforts impact the market and SD-WAN adoption? Yeah, I think the MEF's work in the space will have a huge impact on the SD-WAN market because we definitely need some standardization for the SD-WAN solution as well as the underlay. 
And like I said, you know, SD WAN is nothing without the underlying physical infrastructure. And I think MEF is working on both aspects of it. So you have automated orchestrated networks to go along with the automation that SD WAN brings to your WAN services. Um, and yesterday, I think they made another announcement about the certification process. So I think as more uh, vendors and service providers sign up for that, it will really have a huge impact on the uh, market adoption curve because standards are very important for a new technology like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Well, thanks so much, Rupa. It's been a pleasure. Likewise. Thank you.